With all the questions about the J&J &J vaccine and how it stacks up against the other COVID vaccines, the bottom line is this. All three of the approved vaccines on the market right now in the U.S. should prevent the virus from killing you. Pfizer's vaccine, which requires two shots, is 95% effective against the virus. Moderna, which also requires two shots, is 94% effective. J&J's vaccine, just one shot, was 66% effective in a global trial, but proved to be 85% effective against severe disease. And like the other two, 100% effective against death, meaning nobody who got these vaccines died from COVID. Why isn't AstraZeneca approved for use in the United States? My understanding was the FDA has asked AstraZeneca to uh, do additional phase three trials. Dr. Peter Hotez, who studies vaccines, says there was some confusion about AstraZeneca's results, including one partial study showing a smaller first dose of the two-dose AstraZeneca vaccine bumped the efficacy from 62% to 90%. 62% using the standard doses and 90% with a low dose followed by a standard dose. So that, that was one of the concerns that the 90% the number was a low number of people enrolled. I think they wanted the result of a phase three trial conducted in the United States. And if you're wondering how each of these vaccines stack up against the different variants now proliferating, Dr. Hotez says these four vaccines work really well against the original strain and the UK variant. The South African variant is more challenging. He says he thinks Moderna will partially protect against that strain and that Pfizer works well against it though it produces fewer virus-neutralizing antibodies. So the level of protection is still unclear. And Johnson & Johnson's vaccine? It was actually tested in South Africa, and there is a reduction uh, in its level of protective efficacy, but there's still some. It was around, in a single dose around 57% uh, protective immunity. So reduction um, in, in partial protection. AstraZeneca, he says, was only about 10 percent effective against the South African variant. The good news is vaccines from Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca and Pfizer not only protect you, but also seem to help stop the spread of the virus. So the three of them? Yeah. And not Moderna? No, I think likely Moderna does as well. I just we haven't shown it yet. Data from Israel shows two doses of the Pfizer vaccine are 92% effective at preventing infections, including in people who don't show symptoms. Potentially, if we get enough people vaccinated, we can halt virus transmission. I think we can vaccinate our way out of this epidemic. What's your advice to people when it comes to getting vaccinated? You're not gonna have a lot of choice in terms of what you get. Get what you can. All of these vaccines are gonna save your life. Randy Kay, CNN, West Palm Beach, Florida.